How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF Intent, and today we are going to be working on a Toyota Prius. This is a 2023, I believe. It's brand new vehicle, came right from the dealership to here. And we're gonna be installing a kit slash, well, I'm gonna call it a hybrid kit. And basically what that means is that we remove the trim here. We remove this piece of trim as well as we remove the rubber that goes up along the windshield. So we adjusted the pattern to go into those areas so we're going to not have to worry about seeing those edges. Not much we're gonna be able to do in this area here without removing headlights and taking the bumper skin off to hide those edges. So we went ahead and left those. It also looks like it does wrap into the door here. Terrific, well let's go ahead and get started on this one. All right, so I'm just kind of trying to line this pattern up. It looks like this lines up real nice. And then this edge here, this little cutout also, just let's make that barely hit the edge. And then we've got some good coverage for everything that's gonna wrap up in here. And let's go ahead and tack this area down and then we're gonna stretch to the front here because it looks like it's gonna need a solid quarter of an inch of stretch. Although I don't really understand why, because, um, you know, this is the little finger that we have. All right, let's go ahead and get this stretch here. So we're gonna come, make sure we're coming right up to the edge here. Tack that down a little bit. Let's see how this is gonna fit in here. All right, so what I did there was pull down on this because when I was just pulling right here, it was creating a finger right here and we don't want that. Now we're gonna go ahead and stretch down to here. And then let's go ahead and get rid of some of this slip solution up to there. And now let's go ahead and take care of this line here and then this front corner. And then I'm gonna do a little tug upwards just to help get rid of this finger here a little bit. Nope, I'm a liar, hang on. Well, let's see. Let's see if we, if we do need that. All right, let's squeegee right here. And then let's get all this out or down. I'm gonna put just a little tug on that to help with that finger that was coming this direction. We'll go ahead and go back towards the door. All right, now that we've got all that lined up, let's squeegee some of this out and make sure that we're lined up in the doorway as well as down to the, down to the bottom here.
All right, so first I'm gonna start with squeegeeing out the top here. We've got plenty hanging over. It's popping up just a little bit right there. We're gonna have to come back and put a little bit of tack solution in there. And then we're gonna bring everything down All right, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and check this whole area here to make sure we're lined up good. The pattern is starting to come back this way and we're not getting the overhang that we need into the doorway. So let's make that adjustment. Oops, hopefully we saw that with the other camera because I totally didn't adjust this one. All right, let's say that again then. All right, so. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is lining up real good. And it's, you can see the gap here starts to get smaller and smaller as it comes to the bottom. So we're gonna need to put it, you know, back a little bit. And we're gonna put the little tack in here. Let's go. It actually looks like the material wraps under and in a little bit there. It's got about less than a quarter inch hanging off there, the bottom. So looks like we can go ahead and just tuck that right on in. That's nice, that'll hide that edge as well. Okay, now let's bring the rest of this down. So what we don't want to do is swipe down and go through an area we've already stuck, especially since we stuck that with the tack solution. All right, now there's a little area here that's popping up. So let's get some tack in here. It does look like we have a lot hanging over here, a lot of excess. So we're gonna be able to go ahead and at least put, for now, some kind of a relief cut in it like this. And that'll help that lay down better. There was a lot of tension right here and it was keeping the material from resting and staying down on the paint. Okay. Just always be looking around when you're moving around and the lights are hitting different areas on the panel and make sure you didn't leave any water behind. If you saw me just do this right here, that was where I actually saw a little bit of moisture that I had left behind. We wanna get that out as quick as possible. All right, so we've got a little bit popping up right here. So we're gonna get a little tack underneath there. I'm gonna lift that up and spray that into my hand. And then we're gonna do swipe and hold on this. take care of the wheel well area. All right, let's wrap this into this little wheel well, wheel well area. There's plenty of material here to go underneath this trim. and using a slide chomp on this one.
looks like I trapped a little bit of moisture underneath there. That actually will be covered by the trim, but I'm gonna pull it back and get that out now. Okay. Feels good. When you run your finger across it, a lot of, when you run your finger across it, a lot of times you'll be able to feel like a bump. And it'll go over a bulge or something and you'll be able to tell that you left a little water behind. All right, let's take care of this area here. So let's go ahead and cut this back a little bit. It is too big. I'm gonna go ahead and 45 this corner here. Just past the edge. And then I'm gonna let about something smaller than a quarter inch hang over. We don't need a lot. All right. And we'll go ahead and push this down. Because these are such a, this is such a tight inside corner. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with my finger. And then I'll just double check with a squeegee after that to make sure I got everything pushed out. Do a little chomp here. All right, that looks really good. All right, so what's gonna be left is to wait for all these edges to dry out, go ahead and wrap those in, and then heat seal all of the edges. But other than that, this one's finished up. Um, as you might have seen here when I was tucking this in, this is hanging over a little bit, so I am gonna have to trim that off as well. Um, other than that, we've got you know a nice, we're gonna hide all the edge here. There will be a minor edge here. Oh, this is hidden. So our main edges are going to be right in this area here. And that's it. I definitely re recommend removing some of these panels. They're very easy to get off. This one just pops right out. This one here on the windshield, you start at the top and you just lift up on it and it pops right out. And then this is a little bit more complicated. Uh, maybe I'll do a video while I'm putting it back together and to show you kind of how to do that and I'll throw that in at the end of this video. There's a couple of these clips here are a little bit more difficult to get to release. You have to actually stick your hand back here in the wheel well and, and push on them in order to get them to pop out. Otherwise it looks like you'll probably break them. But we'll go over that a little bit later. Appreciate you taking a look. If you found anything useful or helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Yes, this is a 2000, uh, let's not scratch my eye, kit on this Toyota Prius Hybrid. So what's going to be left to, what's left that, uh, all right, so what's left to be done is going to just, oh my goodness.